What's up guys, today I'm here to show you the different versions in Pro Radio Tools PRT Broadcaster. You get the light version, the live version, and the studio version, and you can see the difference in price. Now these prices are going to be going up because they should. This uh, software is worth a lot more than it is currently priced. If I were the sole developer of it, I would put this at 49 this about 89 and this at 149 uh, the only small role I played in PRT Broadcaster was suggesting some of its features, having been a producer for 12 years in radio. All right, let's start out with the light version, which I'm going to launch from here. Now, this is a very simple, simple version of the broadcaster. But the amazing thing that this has that no other broadcaster has is... A what you hear is what you get feature that's what I call it and that basically means that you can use this with conjunction with anything you no longer need a mixer to get the person you're talking to on Skype to come through and out on the air what else does it include well it includes a master control volume a timer a your encoder and a recorder so when you first get it the first thing you want to do after setting up um, installing the correct uh, platform you need to for, for it to run. You're going to come to device input and output and select that. After you select them, it's going to restart the program. Then you're going to come to shoutcast settings and put your shoutcast stream information in here. Now, this is one limitation of the light version is you only have one encoder as the live and studio version have five. And at least I know the studio version has five. Maybe the live has four. We'll find out. And uh, basically, all you do is hit broadcast, and you're, you're out there. Everything, anything you play will be heard. So let me show you. Let me grab a show. Now you can see that's going out. Stand by. We're going live. Worldwide. Worldwide. This this is the Jamie Havokin Show with your host, Jamie Havokin. Havokin. So now anybody you talk to, whether you're talking to them over Facebook, through audio, through Facebook Messenger, uh, through Google Hangouts, through Skype, they're going to come through and go out the audio pipeline. All right, now, one thing to note that this doesn't have that the other versions have are the DSP effects, which include uh, amplifier effects and compressors. So let's take a look at the live version, which has the best coloring set scheme that I like. And I like the live version. It works for me because I don't need total automation for a whole week. I'm not a radio studio here that's producing 24-7 anymore. This is the version that, so far, I prefer because of its color and because of its simplicity. Now you can see what we have is the same two decks here, but now what do we have? We have three. Yes, we have three different streams. You have your primary, your secondary, and your third stream. So now you can have three streams running all at once. But now you have your band pass, your high and low filter, your compressor, a three band EQ, and a dynamic amplifier. Now let me tell you, the sound that comes out the other end of this is, it's amazing. Now when you hit broadcast, it's going to take upward to 20 seconds for it to officially connect and start streaming. But once it does, your audio really, really does sound amazing. Now I'm going to see if I can give you an example of it here with this version. Okay, we're live now. Test one, two. Well, welcome to the show today. Today we're going to be talking about many different thing, things, can't talk, and we're going to be doing a demo of the audio on Pro Radio Tools Test Live. One, two. Well, welcome to the show today. Today we're going to be talking about many different thing, things, can't talk, and we're going to be doing a demo of the audio on Pro Radio Tools Test Live. One, two. So there you go. You can hear a little bit of the audio that comes out of the other end. Now, if we switch things up a little bit here, let's see some changes. All right, welcome to the show. 
Testing one, two. Testing one, two. If we switch things up a little bit here, we'll see some changes. All right. Welcome to the show. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. If we switch things up a little bit. All right. Let's uh, kill that never ending loop. Okay. Now, what else comes with the live version that's not in the light? Well, you get a sampler. Now, this is perfect for your intro to your show, for your going out to break music, for your promos or your commercials, and your coming back from break music, and your outros. It's perfect. We also have our own DJ deck now, which has full automation capabilities. What you're going to want to do is grab the tracks that you want to play. Now, they grab multiple tracks out there. Just in case anybody doesn't know, you click on the first, you hold shift, and then click on the second. What I usually do is click on the first, hold shift, go down about halfway, click, send these to deck A. Do the same thing. Click, hold shift, down to the bottom, let go, click, send to deck B. Now, for the automation portion, what you're going to want to do is set your volume, turn your EQ on, set this, and you're going to want to hit autoplay. Now, you can start either deck, and when each show ends, it'll automatically go to the next deck. Experts on the codes, Professor Robert Harreland, Rabbi Glazer's panel for fitting full of their solar transmission. It's here that we really discover a gap in cooperation. Now, to forward in the show, you just press on this little bar where you want in the show to be. Let's go to the very end here. Martin, please, contact the... Let's show you the automation in the workplace. This show ends and the next begins. All right, now we're just waiting for the file to end. I can see there's a quite a bit of dead air at the end of it. But the best file we pick for it. So while we're waiting on that file to end, um, we still have the master control volume. We still have a timer. I'm just going to hit stop on that one. And what we're going to do is go ahead and clear this out. And I'm going to show you with a song so it's easier. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and load up some music in here. Remember, halfway, click, send it to deck. It's just the way I like to do it. Now where automation is on, so you can either play it in with auto auto play on, or you can control it yourself if you're shooting down. If you're not, you're gonna want to automate it and walk away, and it'll play itself back and forth. Body hates cause just about all of them at me when I'm saying my grace. Yeah. Birthday. It's your birthday. But I can't remember. 
There you go. There's a demo of the auto automation three second fade from the end of the song to this one. Now you'll see how this one ends. Alright, and it already went back to this deck. Alright, now I'm going to close this out and show you what the live version does not have what the studio version does and that's automation the automation deck that's what I call it anyway and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up this studio version now these little errors you won't get on your computer I get them on mine because I'm missing part of my computer I've had this computer for about almost 10 years still going strong still can run all the programs I need and keep up Now you notice the studio version is back to the original color, but now we, we have um, a lot more features. Just like the live version, we have all of the, we have the bandpass, the compressor, the EQ, and the amplifier. This time we have not one, not three, but five. One is the primary, two, three, four, and five encoders. So I'm going to go ahead and, and hit start broadcast. Remember, it takes about 20 seconds for it to connect. We still have the sampler, just like we always do. And now, if you want a demo of the sampler, I just threw a couple, like, DJ drops in there and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah! In the mix. Dream. I have a dream. Now, how you change them is you just come up here to sampler. And once that's open, uh, you go to tracks. And then you can just hit remove selected items then you want to hit browse and you want to put in there whatever you need your intro you're going to break shows coming back whatever you want in your eight available boxes Alright, once that's done, you can go ahead and hit everyone you want, anyone you want. Oh. Alright, we still have the DJ deck that does everything the last DJ deck does. Yo. 50, Let's see how this sounds. Let's see how this sounds on air. Now I'm at 50,000. I'm beyond blessed. I appreciate all the support, but I'm just focusing on this music. Yo. Let's see how this sounds. Let's see how this sounds on air. Yo, 50,000 subscribers. Two weeks ago, I thanked you guys for 1,000. Now I'm at 50,000. I'm beyond blessed. I appreciate all the support. But I'm just focusing on this music because that's what got me here. So I'm going to just stay with it. Yeah. Look. <clears throat> Everybody ask what a rap for. I'm going to show them what a rap for. But I'm just focusing on this music because that's what got me here. So I'm going to just stay with it. Yeah. Look. So there you go. There's a little demo. And of course, I had my mic open the whole time, which you, you probably hear a little bit of that. But, okay, so we still have the master volume. We still have the timer. But what the, what the studio version has that the others don't is the automation suite. Now, how this 